pa lang tanong yun or statement, di ba? Is that even a question or a statement? How do I look fine? Okay. So, ayan. Nakita nyo na ang ganda ng aking mukha at ang slide na aking ipinipresent. So, ngayon, uh, uh, the heart of differential calculus is actually derivatives. No? That is what differential calculus is all about. It's about derivatives. And... Uh, you should understand the geometric interpretation of the derivative. After that, you should know how to differentiate various types of functions. No? And the process of getting the derivative, you might ask, sir, what do you mean by differentiation? In calculus, the word differentiation refers to a process, no? the process of finding derivatives. And I think in my discussion, dun sa recorded discussion na aking pinanood sa inyo, nabanggit ko na kung ano ang geometric interpretation ng derivative. Who among you can recall what I mentioned about the derivative? How do we interpret the derivative geometrically? Yes, Julian. Go Sir, if I can recall po ang derivative po ay rate of change. Ah, it is rate of change right but we can make it more exact by adding a word an adjective to describe rate of change what word best describes uh, the rate of change in order to make it an exact description of the derivative yes earl uh, sir derivative is an instantaneous rate of change for or the exactly the word is instantaneous. Naiintindihan po ba? Because there could be an average rate of change. No? That average rate of change is measured within a certain interval from x1 to x2. But that is not the derivative. The derivative is the instantaneous rate of change of what? Of a function, no? With respect to its... Uh, independent variable. Kung ano man yung independent variable na mayroon dun sa function na yan, and that is usually x. Di ba? Mm. Mm. That is the definition of the derivative. It is the instantaneous rate of change of a function. But, my question is, how do we interpret the derivative geometrically? Yes, Dale? Slope of the tangent line po. Very good, no? Exactly, that's what I want to hear. It's the slope of the tangent line. So if I have a curve and I want to know the derivative of the function at any point on that curve, I just measure the slope no, of the tangent line at that point. Naunawaan po ba nila? Hello? Yes po, sir. Okay. Yes. Now... Ito yung unang part. The tangent line and the derivative. Alam nyo na ito. <laughs> no? So, alam nyo na yan. No? F of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x as delta x approaches zero. So, I actually, I can write this in a simpler way. No? We define a definition of the derivative. <laughs> Para akong nagsusulat talaga sa whiteboard. Ano yun? Blackboard pala. Definition of the derivative. So, we write the derivative in terms of dy over dx. No? Ayan. So, this is the, defined as the limit. That's why the very first topic in differential calculus is limits. Because uh, uh, limit is one of the central concepts in calculus. And we use the concept of the limit to define the derivative. That's the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches zero. Naintindihan po ba? Hello? So, kung ako ay may curve, quickly, I'll demonstrate to you. If I have a curve like this, the white curve, I have two points on the curve. Ito, point one, and point two. I label point one as x1, y1, and I label point two as x2, 
white. Di ba yun ang gusto natin, may label? Ayaw natin na walang label. Oh my God! <laughs> I will let this slide. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Kasi wala akong masabi. <laughs> Ayan. So, here, I draw a line. <laughs> Nariltok. Nariltok tayo. <laughs> so, meron tayong line dito. <laughs> kung saan, kapag ako ay nag-drawing dito, ng horizontal line at ng vertical line, magkakaroon ako dito ng delta X at magkakaroon ako ng delta Y. So, itong delta X, that is simply the change in X from X1 to X2. So, you are well aware that delta x is just x2 minus x1, right? And you are also aware that delta y is simply the change in y from y1 to y2. That can be given by y2 minus y1. Tama po ba yun? Hello, hello, hello? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, po. Tama po. Pag yung delta y, binibahid ko ng delta x, anong tawag mo doon? <laughs> Yung delta y, dinibahit mo ng delta x, anong tawag mo doon? Yun ang? Derivative. Mali. <laughs> ano yung change in y? Divided by the change in x. Ano ng line yun? Yun ang? Yes, yeah, sabihin mo na. Karang tumaas. Sabihin mo. Slope po, sir. Tama. Yun ang slope. Wait lang, ha? <laughs> So, kapag ang delta y, i-divide ko ng delta x, ang tawag dyan ay slope. Naiintindihan po ba? Hmm. Uh, ano ba yung slope ng line? Simple lang, yun ang <laughs> mag-indicate kung gaano ka-steep yung line mo. No? Ano ba ang slope ng isang horizontal line? Sagot. What is the slope of a horizontal line? Zero po. Zero. Okay. As your line inclines upward to the right what happens to the slope the slope of the line increases increases right increases what happens to the slope of the line if i have a vertical line eh paano kung ang line vertical na anong slope niya sagot decrease ha huh? ulit ulit kung ang Undefined. line ko vertical ano kanyang slope Ha? Ha? Sagot. Infinite po, sir. Infinite. No? Infinite. Because uh, there is no change in X for a vertical line. And if you divide something by zero, you get uh, an undefined expression. No? And one way to interpret an undefined expression is uh, using the concept of infinity. No? The infinity. So we say that is infinite. No? Infinite. Now, Uh, itong curve na ito, nagbabago-bago kasi ang kanyang slope. No? Yung slope niya dito ay iba kumpara dun sa slope niya doon. Yung slope niya din eh, ay nagbabago-bago. No? Naiinditahan niyo po ba ito? Kung yan ay line, of course, we understand and we know that a line has a constant slope. No? Kaya nga, yung line ay straight kasi ang kanyang slope ay constant. But if I have a curve which is, which is not a line, then its slope changes from point to point. Now, nung naimbento ni Newton ang calculus, he was actually trying to solve a problem. No? He was trying to solve what's called the velocity problem. Uh, para madali, gawin ko na lang itong position no? as a function of time. Yan. So yung... Uh, Position ay y-axis at yung x-axis ay time. Gustong malaman ni Isaac Newton kung ano ang exact speed ng object na kanyang pinag-aaralan no? at a specific instant of time. No? So pwede niya malaman yung velocity mula dito hanggang doon. No? Paano yun? E di kuhanin niya yung total distance traveled divided by the time interval. Tawag doon is average velocity. Average velocity. Now, gusto niyang malaman ano yung speed 
ng object at a particular instant. For example, when t is equal to 2 or when t is equal to 3, ibig sabihin nun, after 2 seconds, ano ang kanyang velocity? After 3 seconds, ano ang kanyang velocity? No? During that time, walang mathematics na kayang alamin yung sagot dun sa problem na yun. Kaya ano ginawa ni Newton? Nag-invento siya ng new branch of mathematics. At yan ang nagpapahirap sa buhay nyo ngayon. Yan ang differential calculus. Naunawaan nyo po kung paano ito na-develop. So differential calculus came about. It was invented because there is a necessity. My need, there is a need for, for it. No? Someone was trying to solve a problem, but at the, at the current time, there was no mathematical tool which would enable him to solve the problem. So he developed a new branch of mathematics, which we now call calculus. Naintindihan po ba? So ngayon, para, paano nyo nalaman ang velocity ng no object at this point? Yung tinatawag natin na instantaneous velocity. Ang ginawa niya, ito kasing line na to second, no? Para malaman niya yung speed. No, halimbawa, dito na lang. Dito ko gustong malaman. No? Dapat yung line, itong point na to, lalapit ng lalapit doon. Pag itong point na to, lumapit ng lumapit doon. At yung dalawang point na yun, nag-coincide. No? Ano na ang interval na delta t? Ang delta t ay naging equal sa zero. Tama po ba? Hello guys? Yes, po. So, Kapag itong point na to, lumapit ng lumapit doon, ano mangyayara sa delta t mo? Mag-a-approach sa, hello, mag-a-approach sa? Zero. 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 Ayun. At pag yun ay nag-approach sa zero, that is the time, yung line mo ay hindi na second. Sa isa ng tangent line. So kung yan ay tangent line na, ganito. Bawa ito yung tangent line ko. Paano nalaman ni Newton kung ano yung velocity? Kinuha niya lang yung slope ng tangent line. Naintindihan po ba? So, yung slope ng tangent line, yun yung velocity. No? Na -re relate natin sa derivative. Kaya sinasabi natin na yun palang derivative, deriva. Derivative. Saan pala equal yan? Sa slope of the tangent Tangent line. Naintindihan? Okay. So, ito ha. Mahalagang ito yung maunawaan ninyo. Keep. Aray. Swap. Yan. Ito slope ito, di ba? Slope ng ano? Line. Pero nung ang delta x ay nag-approach sa zero, yung line ay naging ano? Hello? Nung ang delta S ay nag-approach sa zero, anong nangyari sa line? Itong delta Y over delta X, that is the slope of the line. But when this delta X approach sa zero, what happened to the line? The, li the line became a? You answer. What happened to the line as delta X approach sa zero? The line became a? Vertical line po. No! Second. <laughs> tangent. Tangent, di ba? Naging tangent line siya. Kaya sinasabi natin, Ba't yari naandar na kanya? Wala naman papaandar. Wait lang ha. Keep. Transition. Okay. This calc meeting one. Okay. Yan. Okay, so dito sa definition ng derivative, makikita nyo, malinaw na malinaw, malinaw pa sa sikat na araw. Meron tayong delta y over delta x, again, anong nararapasan nun? Yun ay slope ng line. Pero dito sa expression na ito, meron tayong limit kapag ang delta x ay nag-approach sa zero. Kapag idinagdag mo itong limit as delta x approach zero, paano mo ngayon i-interpret yan? Ay di slope ng tangent line. Kaya sinasabi natin na itong derivative ay equal dun sa slope ng tangent line. Nagkakaano ka po ba? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. 
dapat kahit gumaduate ka ng college, hindi mo makalimutan yung concept na yan. Because it's a basic concept in calculus, no? Kahit gumaduate ka na ng college, dapat yan hindi mo makalimutan. Pag tinanong ka, on derivative, simple lang. Instantaneous rate of change. Yun ang definition niya. Pero geometrically, we interpret the derivative as the slope of the tangent line. Tapos, next. Puntahan natin yung notation. So, marami tayong notation sa pag-indicate ng derivative. Uh, yung kaninang ipinakita ko sa inyo, yun ang tinatawag natin na pri, uh, dy over dx. No? The derivative notation na sino ba nagpauso ng dy over dx? Sa sino ba nagpauso nito? Si Leibniz ba? Si Leibniz nga ata. Meron tayong prime notation, no? F prime of x, no? Meron tayong y prime. So, lahat 'yan ang ibig sabihin ng derivative, no? dy over dx, f prime of x, y prime, lahat 'yan ay derivative. Na ito. Derivative ng y with respect to x. Ito naman, derivative ng function na f of x with respect to x. Okay? So, ay klaruhin pala natin ha. Dito Sa dy over dx, man tayo nalang variables. Yung y ang dependent at yung x ang independent variable. Naintindihan po ba? Ulitin ko ha. Y is dependent and x is your independent variable. Kapag sinabi na with respect to, kung saan with respect to ang derivative, yun ang independent variable. Kung alin yung nasa denominator, yun lagi yung independent variable mo. Naintindihan po ba? Yes po. Yes po. Okay. So, yes Ned. Kagaling ng ano, PDF ng Sir Aris. Nalabas isa-isa yung text. <laughs> Kagaling. Ano, are? May animation? O slide by slide? Post. Nakapost lang po yung ano. Nakaling kaya post. Totoo ba? Ay PDF to? Hindi <laughs> 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 ko alam to. Kagaling. <laughs> Pwede sa rin yung ano. Control, control, edit. Control, L. Edit, full screen. Yan. Kung ano, Pwede na PDF pero may animation? Yung sa isang lumalabas yung ano, yung yung picture, kada, kada entered. Paano mo ginagawa yun? Iba-ibang uh, slide? O isang slide lang yun? Sa, sa code, sir, yung A-post. Ah, ito ay ginawa mo sa ano? Sa LaTeX. Ah, sa LaTeX pala. Hanggang PowerPoint lang ako. So ito hindi PowerPoint to. LaTeX to. LaTeX. Tapos kinonvert mo sa PDF. PDF. Ang galing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing grace. Okay. Ayan. So, mga notations yan, ha? Notation. Okay? Sabi niya, find the derivative of f if f of x is equal to 3 over x. Okay. 3 over x. Introduce ko muna sa inyo yung formula. Ang pag-aaralan natin ay derivative of algebraic functions. No? of algebraic functions. Okay. So, formula number one, <laughs> d over dx of a, actually, muna constant. Kapag ka-constant, matik zero ang derivative niyan. Bakit? Kasi kung constant ka, nagbabago ka ba? Sagot, yes or no? No more. Wala eh, hindi ka pala nagbabago eh. So, anong rate of change nun? Kung hindi pala nagbabago. Diba? Zero po. Wala. Pero hindi nagbabago yun. Hindi na constant, hindi siya nagbabago. Eh, ang derivative rate of change. So, anong derivative na constant? Malamang yan ay zero. Naintindihan po ba? Hello, yes, guys? Pa. Yes. Ang yes, kunod na uh, formula, ituturo ko sa inyo ay uh, derivative of a power function. No? Ano yung derivative of a power function? Simple lang, x to the n, Uh, yung n, gagawin mo lang sa ano, multiplier, and then x, and then n minus 1. Naintindihan po ba? Hello? Yes, po, yes sir. Yes. Yun lang yun. Yun lang yes. yun. Kagaya na. Refine the derivative. Yan. f of x, sabi niya, f of x is equal to 3 over x. Actually, pwede natin i-apply dito yung isa pang formula. d over dx of a times x, where a is a constant. No? So, yan ay equal sa a. Naintindihan po ba? Yes po. Yan. Yes po. A multiplied by a certain variable, ang derivative niya with respect to that variable is a. Okay? How about itong 3 over x? 
Pwede ba natin yung isulat? Diba? Yung f of x na yan, pwede kong isulat as 3, x to the minus 1. Diba? Pwede yun? Hello? Yes. And we can apply the power rule. We can apply this. No? And this. Okay? Or pwede kong sabihin na... Sige, mamaya na yun. Ito ay 3. No? Ilalabas ko yung 3. Kasi constant siya. At kukuha na ko ng derivative with respect to x yung x to the minus 1. So that's 3 times. Okay, apply this formula. No? Eh di ito magiging negative 1. Kasi n, kukopyahin mo yun. x to the n, yung n mo ay negative 1. Naintindihan po ba? And then x, x to negative 1 minus 1 is negative. Hello? Negative 2. Naintindihan po ba? Yes, so, so, anong derivative? E di negative 3x to the minus 2. Or, this can be written as negative 3 over x squared. So, this is your derivative. Ang iintindihan? Uh, meron pa tayong properties ng derivative, no? d over dx of uh, the sum of two functions. No? Halimbawa is a multiplied by f of x plus b multiplied by g of x no equal yan sa a times yung constant kasi yung a at b dito here a and b are constant so a multiplied by d over dx of f of x plus b multiplied by the derivative with respect to x of the other function g of x yan ang tinatawag natin na linearity property ng derivative So, uh, the derivative is a linear operation. No? Linear po siya. Okay? So, ito'y pwedeng plus, pwedeng minus. Ayan. Pwedeng plus, pwedeng minus yun. Kapag constant, multiplier lang siya. No? Tapos, kukunan mo ng derivative yung function. Naiintindihan? Anong yes. tawag dito sa formula na ito? Yan ang linearity property. Linearity property. Linearity property ng derivative. Okay? Number two, for the function of example, compute for f prime of 2. Ah, so dito mag-evaluate tayo. Diba sabi natin, uh, may nakuha tayo na negative 3 over x squared. Ang sabi dyan, ano daw yung f prime of 2? Ang ibig sabihin lang ng f prime of 2, i-evaluate mo yung derivative when x is equal to 2. So gawin lang natin, negative 3 over yung x gagawin kong 2. So, 2 squared magiging negative 3 fourths. Naintindihan po ba? Hello? Yes, po. O, yun lang. Yun lang ibig sabihin nun. Simple lang, di ba? Simple lang. Sunod. Number 3. Find the derivative of f. If f of x is equal to The square root of x minus 1. Ah, composite na ito. Dapat i-introduce ko sa inyo. Tinatawag na chain rule. No? Let me introduce yung chain rule. Okay. So, meron tayo isang uh, composite function. Ano yun? Function within another function, we use chain rule to get the derivative. Paano yun? Halimbawa, dy over dx is equal to dy over du multiplied by du over dx. No? Kaya sa tinawag na chain, kasi chain sila o makarugtong. No? Itong dy over du, may kasunod. Matic, lagi may kasunod. Di ba parang chain, sunod-sunod sila? Kuha nyo ba kung bakit natin na chain rule? <laughs> It's a chain. Okay. Dy over du multiplied by du over dx. <laughs> Naginagamit yan kapag meron tayong composite function. So ano nga ito yung composite function? Sino ba yung given dito? Yan, no? f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1. No? Example, kung meron kang f of x na square root of x minus 1, baka naging composite yan. Kasi meron tayong power function sa loob ng square root. Naintindihan po ba? Meron tayong power function na nasa loob ng square root. Gets? Hello? Hello? Yes po, sir. Kung yan kasi ay, ikaw ah, 
f of x is equal to square root of x. O di madali lang kasi yung square root of x is x to the one half, right? And you can directly apply the formula for the derivative of a power function, no? So ano ang f prime of x? O ay di yung one half magi multiplier and then x ko kopyahin mula. Tapos yung exponent, ma-minusan mo ng 1. What is 1 half minus 1? Negative 1 half. Diba? Negative 1 half. Kaya magiging ano yan? 1 over 2 square root of x. That's it. Ganun ka simple. You directly apply the formula for finding the derivative of a power function. Pero dito, kita natin na may nasa loob ng square root. Nakuha po ba? That's why we need to apply chain rule. Paano yan? We know that this f of x can be written as, ano? x minus 1, hello, x minus 1 raised to 1 half. Naiintindihan ko ba? Is this clear? Yes. Kaya ngayon, dito, we will let u be equal to the function with the inside the radical. So dito may radical tayo, yung square root. Ano yung function sa loob ng radical? Yun yung x minus 1. Naiintindihan po ba? Yes po. Yes po. Yes, po. So, yung magiging form natin is magiging ano na siya, u to the n, no? No? So meron na tayo ngayong f of x which we can express as u raised to n. Ngayon, uh, 'di ba kanina binigay ko sa inyo, d over dx of x raised to n. Ano ang formula? Sagot. Anong formula nito? yung derivative ng isang power so, function. Equal to nx raised to n, n minus 1. Raised to n minus 1. Minus 1. X raised to n, n minus, minus 1. 1. Eh, what if ganito tayo ngayon? The derivative with respect to x of u raised to n. Kita mo? May nakikita ka ba ditong x? Wala. Kasi dito yung x ay actually yung function na u. Here, u is a function of x. But of course, hindi na natin na nilagay. Lagay ko lang ay u. But of course, at the back of your, of your mind, you know that this u is a function of x. Kaya nga ito, with respect to x. Nakuha niyo po ba? We apply the same formula. Magiging ano yan? N u. multiplied by u raised to n minus 2. So, ano ba yun? Bumultiply yan. Bu -multiply yan ano, na nga ano? Yung derivative ng u. Ng du over dx. So, basically, ito yun, guys. Itong term na ito, yan yung dy over du. At itong term na ito, yun yung du over dx. Naiintindihan po ba? Hello? Yes. Yes. yes yan ay kapag ka meron kang function within a function. No? Meron kang composite function. So, ang gagawin natin is, you apply same rule. So, kuna natin ito ngayon ng derivative. f prime of x is equal to so, itong 1 half magiging multiplier, 1 half times, kukopyahin ko lang, di ba? Ito yun, no? Kukopyahin mo yung u, x minus 1. Tapos yung exponent niya, mamainusan mo ng 1, negative, 1 half. And then, kunan mo siya ng derivative. Anong derivative ng x minus 1? With respect to x. Of course, that's 1. Kaya ang sagot natin is 1 over 2 square root of x minus 1. Naiintindihan po ba? Yes po. So, yes. Madali lang, di ba? Madali lang. Madali lang. Lahat po ba nakakasabay? Yes. Sige. Moving on. Let us solve another example. Amin niya, no? Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of Chorba. Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of... Anong klaseng function yung given? Sagot. Anong klaseng function yung given? Hmm. x cubed minus 3x. It's a... Low... Cubic po. Tama. F of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x. This is a cubic function, right? Ang sabi niyan, ano daw yung slope ng tangent line? Patay ka ngayon. Ano nga ulit yung ibig sabihin ng slope of the tangent line? Kakasabi ko lang niya kanina, pag hindi niyo nasagot, tumanda kayo sa akin. 
Ano ibig sabihin ng slope ng tangent line? Yun ang derivative. Ah, derivative. Okay, lang ha. Isa lang, derivative lang. Ngayon, find the slope of tangent line to the graph of at niyan. x cube minus x at 2 to, no? At the point 2 to. So ano gagawin mo? Simple lang. First, get the derivative, no? 1 get f prime of x. So gawin natin 'yan. What is f prime of x? f prime of x equals O dalawang terms 'yan. Pag dalawang terms apply linearity property. Derivative nito minus derivative niyan, 'di ba? f prime of x is equal to O oh, derivative niyan magiging Hello, sagot, bilis. 3x squared. 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 Ang galing. And then minus. Magiging? 3. 3 po. 3 po. Tama. Yan ang f prime of x. Anong sunod? Sabi niya, slope of the tangent line. Ito na yung slope ng tangent line. However, this is a cubic function. That's why its slope changes from point to point. Ay sila sabi niya, ano daw ang slope ng tangent line at specifically this point? At 2, 2. So, ano gagawin mo? Evaluate f prime of x at x equals 2. Kasi doon ang value ng x ay 2. So, f prime of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 3. What's the answer? 2 squared is 4 times 3. 12 minus 3, 9. So, the slope of the line or the tangent line is 9. Naintindihan po ba? Hello? Yes. So, pakita, ko sa inyo. pakita ko sa inyo ito ha. Maka-amaze kayo. Baka tayo ng Desmos. Oh. Ano yung function? Y equals 3x cubed minus 3x. Ayan. Nakikita nyo ito? Itong function na ito? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, po. Yes, po. Yes po. Ah, palpang ko na lang. Sige na nga. Slope. Nasaan na ba yung slope? Tangent line. <laughs> May yari na kasi dito. Ano eh. Mag-login nga ako. Sign in with Google. Narito ako. Tanja Yan. Tangent line. Ang derivative. Amazing grace. Kung makikita nyo, nasa na ba yung function? Aray, x cubed minus 3x yun, di ba? Ito yun. So, yung kulay red, yun yung graph nung function. Gets nyo? Uy. Uy. Okay. Yung kulay red, yun yung function. Tapos, of course, uh, yung slope nung function, since cubic siya, anong klaseng function yung slope niya? Ito, if I have a function, the slope is defined by another function which is na quadratic. Nakuha nyo ba? Ano ang function na nag-describe sa slope ng isang cubic function? Eh di quadratic. Bakit kasi power function yan eh. Kung power at ang function ay cube, dapat yung derivative niya mamaminus na ng 1, yung exponent. So may quadratic. Nakuha nyo ba? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Ayan. So, if I have a cubic function, its slope is given by a quadratic function. No? Kagaya na nakuha natin, 3x squared minus 3. Ito yun. Guys, it, ito yung parabola na kulay black. No? Ngayon, ito yung tangent line. No? Eh, ano sinabi kanina? Ano daw yung slope ng, ng tangent line na point 2 to? Papakita ko sa inyo talagang 9 yan. Ha? Papakita ka. Tingnan ninyo. Now na. At the point 2 to, nasan yung 2 to? Ayun. Hanapin natin yung tuto. Ayun, no? At the point, tuto. Nakuha nyo po ba? This is the point. So, ngayon, ano yung slope? <laughs> ano yung slope? Tingnan po natin. Di, ne? Ayun. Anong value dito ng derivative? Ito yung value nyo. Nine. Nine. ba Ang galing, no? Ayun, o, di. D is equal to 9. That means the derivative is equal to 9. Kaya kita natin na yung line ay medyo steep. Kasi mataas ang kanyang derivative 9. Naintindihan po ba? Clear yun? Yes po. Clarity? 
Ayan. So ngayon, napakitaan ko na kayo ng isang tool ha, online, na pwedeng gamitin sa pag-verify ng slope ng tangent line. Kita ninyo, iba-ibang point, iba-iba yung slope. Nagpapago-bago oh. Kita niyo yung D. Yung value nung D, yung slope. Tinan niyo D na sa ilalim. Anong slope D na sa ilalim? Tinan niyo yung line naging horizontal. Ah. Pag ang line na naging horizontal, ano ang slope niyon? Ha? Zero. Ayun. Zero. Uh, yun, nag-zero na sa ayun. Kasi doon sa point na yun, horizontal ang tangent line. So, pag ginalaw ko pa to, to the left, ano mangyayari sa slope? Nagiging negative. No? Tapos, ayun. Ooh, din eh. Sa point na yun, magiging Z. Anong nangyayari doon sa tangent line habang umakit yung point? Nagiging? Hello? Nagiging horizontal, di ba? Nagiging horizontal. Tapos nung naging horizontal line na naman siya, Diyos ko, alang-alang. Hirap. <laughs> Tapos din eh, anong slope nung line? Positive na ulit yung slope. Diba? Positive. Pag negative yung slope nung line, alam nyo na, inclining upwards to the left. No? Kapag positive naman yung slopes, inclining upwards to the right. Naintindihan? Yes po. Yes po. Ayan. Yes, so, yes. May tanong ako. Kung ako ay may isang quadratic function, anong klaseng function ang nagde-describe sa kanyang slope? Linear. Tama. Very good. That is a linear function. Naiintindihan yan? Clear? Yes, yes So, itutuloy natin ang ating discussion kasi tayo na ano. Tutuloy natin ang ating discussion sometime. You just wait for my announcement here in Google Classroom. Ipopost ko po kung kailan tayo next na mag-meet. Okay po ba? May natutunan ba kayo this afternoon? May natutunan po ba kayo? Yes, 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 sir. Po. yes po, sir. So I hope to meet you again next week ha? or this week. Kasi exam week, mag-make up class tayo. Kasi wala naman kayong exam sa calculus. Mag-make up class lang tayo. Wait for further announcement. you have any questions before I dismiss you? Wala na po. Wala po. Wala, wala na, na kasi excited ng mga merienda. Ano? Excited ng umaura. <laughs> Ayan. Hindi mo lang tayo nakap... Mag-on ka mga kayo. Dali, magpipicture ako sa first meeting natin. Sir, yung record po, isi-send po sa Google Classroom. Ha? Yung record po ba? Isi-send po sa Google Classroom. Yung sa Google Classroom. Isi-send ko ba sa Google Classroom? Yes. <laughs> Siyempre naman. Siyempre naman. Para ma-review ninyo. O yung ibang hindi naka-attend, ay maka-ano. Ah, sige na. Alis na ako. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, sir. Thank, Thank you, you for sir.